Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? It's your boy Gideon, aka Gita, welcoming you back to Wrestling Showdown Entertainment on the WWE 2K18 Universe Mode. And ladies and gentlemen, this is part two of Wednesday Night Clash. If you haven't seen part one, please go back and watch on my channel. Like, subscribe, be a part of the GW Nation, and comment down below and stay active. I want, to, I want to hear from y'all. What was your favorite match? Who's your favorite wrestler? All that stuff, ladies and gentlemen. And we're about to begin our third match of Wednesday Night Clash. It's just a singles match. It is Brian Lowe versus one member of the Templar League, Jamie Knight. As I say with every match, comment down below. Who's your favorite and who do you think is going to win? And the reason I ask that, just because I'm not sure if I ever made it clear, is you might like someone, but you think the other person's gonna win. So for example, uh, for example with this match and all, let's say I like Brian Lowe, but I think Jamie Knight's gonna win. At least let me know that Brian Lowe is your favorite. Cause I think that'd be cool. So I wanna know who's got the most fans out of everyone of all these fighters. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin. And if you don't know, we are in the beautiful city of Hartford, Connecticut. And hopefully you went back and watched part one because you would know that now. And uh, this is going up a day late mainly because uh, I was really tired last night recording. So I decided I would just finish the rest of this tonight and go ahead and also do Friday Night Frenzy. So a little bit of a fourth wall breaking spoiler. Here we go. Brian Lowe making his way to the ring, ladies and gentlemen. And give me just a minute, and I'm going to look at some stats and see how Brian Lowe's looking. Because if I'm right, this is actually Brian Lowe's first match. And if it is, then that's really exciting because this is also Jamie Knight's first match. And no, this is not Brian Lowe's first match. Brian Lowe so far is 0 and 1. And let's see. Let me see. Jamie Knight. And Jamie Knight has not competed yet, so this will be his first match. So all members of the Templar League have finally competed in the single divisions. And here comes Brian Lowe's opponent, speaking of which, Jamie Knight. He has a cocky look on his face, and it looks like he's ready to go, ladies and gentlemen, wanting to prove why he is the best and, and why the Templar League will run Wrestling Show to Entertainment. According to him, Shields, Bishop, and King. Mainly King, though. King and Knight. This should be a very exciting match to see how Jamie Knight does in his first ever single match. Uh, especially since Bishop and Shields are now running Templar League, the Templar League tag team division. Uh, because Knight decided he didn't want to do it anymore. So we'll see how this works out. Maybe Shields and Bishop will do a good job running tag team. We don't know. We'll just have to see. But Brian Lowe versus Jamie Knight in 3, 2, 1. And here we go. Both men meeting each other in the ring. But Jamie Knight taking control with a nice snap suplex to start it all off. Now going for the armor, Brian Lowe. Making sure he's going to be injured everywhere by the end of this match. And Jamie Knight's a very aggressive. He shows no mercy. And with his size, he is very bold. He will not back down from a fight, even with the tallest and heavy, tallest, heaviest, and strongest people going against him. He won't back down. There we go. He is pumped up, ladies and gentlemen. He's ready to get going. Already being in full advantage of this match, taking down Low. Here we go. Low standing up now. Nice punch by Knight. And Lowe now taking control and throwing him over to the ropes. Beautiful elbow by Lowe. And Lowe now just kicking him around. And here we go. Suplex by Brian Lowe. Now kick to the back. And now kneeing the back once again.
I was going to try to figure out what all he can do to stop Brian and to stop Jamie Knight. Here we go. Beautiful suplex by Brian Lowe. And standing Knight up once more. What is he planning on doing now? Ooh. Beautiful leg sweep hurting the leg of Knight. And now big stomp on the elbow. And getting Knight up once more. And Knight able to block it. But Brian Lowe was able to get back into this and throw Jamie Knight into the corner. Here we go. Brian Lowe throwing Jamie Knight over to the other side. Beautiful clothesline. Lowe's calling for him. Saying, come on, get up and get in that momentum built up. The crowd loves it. Now, Brian Lowe's a bit of an underdog wrestler with just the way he's built. But he has a lot of potential. Same as Jamie Knight. Even though he's the smallest, he has a lot of potential with how brave he can be a lot of the times. Here we go. Low going top rope. Beautiful elbow drop. And here's the pin. One. Two. Not good enough. Knight able to kick out. Low going to go back at that arm once again. Here we go. Looks like we're going to see another suplex. And a quick snap DDT now. Ooh, stomping on the face of Knight now. Low wants to finish this as fast as possible. Now kneeing the head. And jumping over and bending the neck of Knight. Here we go. Lowe's going back up top once again. What's he got planned? Beautiful full rotation. One, two. Knight able to kick out once again. Now going for the leg of Knight once again. Here we go, Jamie Knight's back up. But Brian Lowe was able to stop that with a nice gut buster. And here we go, Knight, now with a nice reversal. Going after Lowe and a backbreaker onto Lowe. Knight has turned the tables around. Here we go. Beautiful move by Knight. He's getting pumped up. He's calling Brian Lowe to get up. But Brian Lowe able to get up on his own and clothesline Knight. Knight able to get out of the way of that and throwing Knight and throwing Lowe onto the ground. Now I'm putting him in a hold, seeing if maybe he'll get him to tap. Doesn't look like it, ladies and gentlemen. He's doing a good bit of damage to Lowe, but Lowe might be able to get out of this. I don't know. Maybe not. No, Lowe was not able to get out. Jamie Knight's got a lot of momentum built up on him now. Here we go. Insecurity right on to Lowe. And here's the pin. One. Two. Not good enough. Only a two count, ladies and gentlemen. Knight getting him back up once again. Oh, and Lowe able to reverse it and throw Knight into the corner. Knight's, and Lowe's looking to put Knight up on top rope. What does Lowe have planned? Ooh, Knight able to block it. And nice body splash by Knight. Here we go. Throwing Lowe back into the corner. What does Knight have planned? Here we go, putting a low on the top rope. A... Ooh, a neck breaker throwing his head onto the top of the turnbuckle. That's gotta be it. Here we go, going back for another hold. See how much damage he can do to low. 
low, building up some momentum and able to get out of it from the fans. Here we go. Low taking control. Beautiful. I believe that's called a side effect, if I remember right. Here's the pin. One. Two. Knight able to kick out. And low shocked. Oh, and hitting the dab right there, ladies and gentlemen. Building up the momentum. And Brian Lowe in that dab dough. And a belly to belly by Brian Lowe. Looks like he's going up top once again. A beautiful move. And here's the pin. This might be it. One. Two. Not good enough. Knight still able to kick out. And here we go. Northern Light Suplex. And that took a little bit of energy out low, but he's back up. Here we go. Another suplex by low here's the pin once again oh he's going for a cheap pin one two three ladies and gentlemen Brian Lowe with a cheat pin putting his legs on to the ropes to give him more of an advantage so here's your winner Brian Lowe with his first victory and Jamie Knight's first loss as a single as a single competitor but this was a good match by both contenders ladies and gentlemen they both put up an amazing work amazing uh, performance here tonight ladies and gentlemen I'm very surprised of the outcome of the match didn't really think Brian Lowe would win it but hey he guess he won let's see what we got ladies and gentlemen we got some stats and it, this was a three and a half star match ladies and gentlemen uh, Brian Lowe got a plus two in egotistical, plus five in respectful, and a minus two in cowardly. Wow. He's got a hot streak going. And Jamie Knight's on that cold streak, and he's got a plus five in egotistical and a plus two in perseverant. Right here, ladies and gentlemen. But that will do it for, uh, that will do it for, one, uh, for match three. Without further ado, let's move on to our next match. And our next match is, ladies and gentlemen, a one-on-one -on -one match between Buddy Peace and the new Galaxy Champion, Hans Coronado. Now, Buddy Peace has challenged Hans Coronado here on Wednesday Night Clash to avenge Christopher Bailey after his humiliating loss to Hans on uh, Monday Night Mania when Hans was able to take full control of the match and knock him out and give me just a minute ladies and gentlemen
ladies and gentlemen, I am back, and uh, please excuse some of the noises. We have someone coming in to work on our fan in here uh, over at our hotel. But uh, without further ado, hopefully you can still hear me. Let's begin. And here we go, making his way to the rink, a member of the Fly High 25, Buddy Peace. And Buddy Peace, like I said before, he's ready to <laughs> avenge his partner, Christopher Bailey, in this match. And hopefully, if he wins this match, he will be able to fulfill his duty in avenging his friend. And right here on commentary, I have my mom joining me. Just for a little bit, and she waves and says hi. <laughs> but Buddy Peace has a look of determination on his face, ready to beat Hans Coronado. And here we go. And here comes Buddy Peace's opponent. The new Galaxy Champion, the German dancer, Hans Coronado. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. Hey, I had to have a funny, goofy character. <laughs> you achieved it. <laughs> I'm just still shocked he won. Uh, uh, on Monday Night Mania, he won the Galaxy Championship title, mm -hmm. and really, I had I had no plan of that happening, but it happened. So, mom, who are you cheering for? Are you gonna cheer for a German dancer Hans Coronado, or are you gonna cheer for Buddy Peace? I'll cheer for Kerry uh, Von Erich when he shows up. <laughs> Uh, well, Carrie's not here. Sorry, I'm not cheering <laughs> for nobody. Wow, really? Uh, <laughs> these two new. Why? What's wrong with these two? <laughs> so here we go Buddy Peace versus Hans Coronado in 3, 2, 1. Looks like they should be at the Carnival Festival. <laughs> I can understand Hans, but why Buddy? <laughs> All the purple and green, I mean, it should either be at Carnival or Mardi Gras. <laughs> <laughs> so can't, they can't just wear other colors and all that? No, I'm just... <laughs> Here we go, Coronado. Calling peace to get up now, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Ooh, missing that leg drop. Buddy Peace able to move out of the way. Now stomping on Coronado. Here we go. Backbreaker onto Coronado. Here we go. Throwing him into the ropes. Beautiful elbow to the face. Well, the, uh, the, the, we not the light because that was the fan part on. <laughs> Here we go, peace. Now kneeing on the face of Coronado. All right, here we go. Nice arm breaker, flipping Coronado down to the ground. I'm like, okay. Here we go. Now stepping on the arm of Coronado. Ladies and gentlemen, I do apologize for the noise. Uh, I'm hoping y'all can hear me and more than you can them. But if you can't, oh well. Here we go. Nice neck breaker by Peace. Peace has in, been in full control of this match so far. <laughs> here we go. A nice knee onto the knee of Coronado. And here we go. Here we go. Ooh, right onto the ropes. Here's the pen. One. 
Not even a two count, ladies and gentlemen. Coronado able to kick out. There's a hit to the head. Here we go, now kneeing the head. <laughs> oh. Yeah, go ahead. Peace, now working on the neck of, of Coronado. I can't believe you don't like them. Ooh. There we go. Into a submission hold. Well, you tell me which one did that is the iron claw, and I'll, I'll pick for it. Uh, not one of these two, but uh, Claude Overton does the iron claw. Well, I picked him the other day, didn't I? Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Beautiful swinging net breaker. Thanks, sir. Have a good night. Just give us a call. I'll leave a message. All right. We got. We got to be starting off. That was kind of shocking, to be honest. Because, you know, I expected them to come today, and I figured they probably didn't show. That's why I sent that text. Well, apparently that text uh, thing does work, because this lady named Ivy sent me a text, said, if you need anything, let me know. And I took and I sent a video of it saying, let me know when they're coming to fix this. <laughs> <laughs> and it showed it, you know, go on one lane and stop and go on the other. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you, your place is haunted. That room's haunted. There we go. Peace. With the glorious DDT right onto Coronado. And here's the pin. One. Two. Three. Ladies and gentlemen, here's your winner, Buddy Peace. One or two? Uh, give me one. And that is pillow wise, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, since I am sleeping in the living room, uh, they're nice enough to let me have pillows. <laughs> so, but there we go Coronado with his first loss so far in peace able to win to avenge his friend uh, this is a first victory for Buddy Peace to begin with as well ladies and gentlemen This was a pretty one-sided match, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Peace was in full control. There was a few times Coronado was in control, but Peace just kind of kept it going. But here we are. Here's your winner, Buddy Peace. Let's go ahead and move on to our main event match, ladies and gentlemen. And our main event match is a Falls Count Anywhere match. And it is between our power ranking champion of this week, the country live, Kip Elmore. And he's also half of the tag team champions. And he's going against the new heavyweight champion and power ranking number four. No, power ranking number three, a loco gladiator. Comment down below who's your favorite and who do you think is going to win? They're both really good, both have a lot of potential with everything they've been doing. Uh, especially with Elmore being able to hold on to the titles and Gladiator able to uh, win a title but at the same time he won a title from someone who hasn't won a single match and was somehow the heavyweight champion which I still don't understand but okay whatever <laughs> But yes, let me know down below, who do you think is going to win this? And stat-wise, looking at them, a local gladiator has nine wins and one loss. 
while Kip Elmore has one win in a single run. But as part of Dukes of Wrestling, he has five wins and no loss. So with stats like that, it might be a good shot for him. But we don't know. Maybe he'll be able to give Loco Gladiator his second loss. But we'll just have to see. But without further ado, let's get started. And I'm not sure if I said it with uh, the others. Comment down below who was your favorite and who do you think was going to win between Buddy Peace and Hans Coronado. And here we go. Making his way to the ring. Half of the tag team champions. Dukes of Wrestling's own Country Life, Kip Elmore. Kip Elmore's been doing really good, and I was very surprised he was able to take the uh, power ranking spot away from Loco Gladiator. I mean, he did a really great match at Roadblock. I just, I didn't think he was going to be able to take it away that easily. But I was wrong. I was totally wrong, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Elmore's pumped up and ready to go. When he found out he was the power ranking champion, him and Ryan Adams went and got a couple beers and celebrated. So let's hope that didn't ruin his chance of winning this match here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And here come his, comes his challenger, El Loco Gladiator our heavyweight champion. But like I said, Gladiator's been on a fantastic run with nine wins and one loss. Oh, correction, ladies and gentlemen, eight wins and one loss. I was thinking about going ahead and giving him an extra win. But hey, he might get that win here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. You you don't know. We don't I don't know. You don't know. Nobody knows. Only them. They're the only ones who knows who's gonna win. But here we go. Kip Elmore versus a local gladiator in three, two, one. And here we go. Gladiator starting off strong with the over like going over Elmore with a nice and hitting him with a DDT. Now kick in the back of Elmore. But yeah, of Elmore and his tag team partner, Ryan Adams. Elmore is the only one who's actually gotten a win. Adams is the only one who's gotten a loss. So they kind of switched roles on that. But if you also want to know about their rivalry with Scotty Pfeiffer and Florentino Rubio, Florentino has no wins, no losses. He hasn't competed in singles runs yet. But Scotty Pfeiffer, as soon as I can find him, <laughs> Scotty Pfeiffer has one win and one loss. So his one loss was against Kip Elmore, and his one win was against Ryan Adams. So that was a pretty good match. And a stomp right onto the chest of Elmore now. And here we go with the back suplex. And here we go with a nice submission hold onto Elmore. Elmore able to get out and throw Loco Gladiator down. Gladiator able to take back control again. And a nice power bomb. And here we go. Going for another submission hold onto Elmore. And Elmore able to kick out once again, ladies and gentlemen. Elmore able to take control with a nice reversal, clotheslining the local gladiator down to the ground. And here we go. Elmore now in control. Getting pumped up, getting his momentum going. And gladiator, gladiator able to reverse that. And now taking control with a Northern Light suplex. And here's the pin. One, two. 
two. Elmore able to get out. The crowd is going wild for this match, ladies and gentlemen. Kick to the back on Elmore. Here we go. Suplex onto Elmore now. And there's a punch. And here we go. Beautiful reverse butterfly suplex. And here we go. Another power bomb. Now with a spine buster right onto Elmore. This could be it for Elmore. Oh, stopping on his arm now. Gladiator not going down one bit. And throwing Elmore by the neck. Calling Elmore to get up now. He's ready. Here we go. Tequila Sunrise. Elmore has to tap out, ladies and gentlemen. This could be exactly what Local Gladiator needs to become the power ranking champ once again. And now he is at a win. And now he's at nine wins. And Elmore gets his first loss. But that will do it, ladies and gentlemen, for Wednesday Night Clash. Uh, before we go, we will go look at, uh, we'll go look, see what all's going on so far. See if we got maybe any news. Uh, I've already told you that there was breaking news that Otis Love did win, uh, whew, excuse me, I mean not win, but Otis Love has been cleared from his injuries, so he will be able to compete. He just did not compete tonight. And uh, also something else that was interesting that popped up. But first, let's look at news. Yeah, yeah. See, medical update. Otis Love has been has made a complete recovery from his injuries. He is ready to compete at full strength again. So it's great to see that he is ready to go. And on rivalries, ladies and gentlemen, this rivalry was put in just because it was already maxed out. So we have Kenji Tawazaki and Keith Joyner, the perfect Keith Joyner going into a rivalry with each other let me know down in the comments what y'all think about that if you want it we'll keep it if you don't we'll get rid of it just easy as that ladies and gentlemen and we still have these rivalries going on ladies and gentlemen uh this rivalry will be ending in three weeks this one will end in two weeks and this one will end in eight weeks and to let you know on these uh the kenji and joiner will end in eight weeks and uh Avenger and Phoenix will end in nine. And we have Bailey and Coronado down in the potential rivalry. That's still growing. And then we also have Roz and Sage in the potential rivalry as well, and that's still growing. But that won't be able to replace any of those yet, I don't believe. So that will end Wednesday Night Clash. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, be a part of the GW Nation, comment down below. Tell me, what was your favorite match out of all these? If I had to choose, I'm going to have to go with the eight women battle royale for the number one contender. Just because I love battle royals. If the battle royale was not here, I'd probably have to go with this triple threat elimination. I think this kind of stole the show. So, but let me know down below, what was your favorite match? And that ma match might have a shot at becoming the match of the year but I'll see you in I'll see you when we go to Friday Night Frenzy so peace out